Hi, this is Miss Andrea. I'm here at our Fort Bend Children's Discovery Center in our Gullah exhibit. And I have a really cool project for you guys today. It is a wood slice magnet. So wood slice from an actual tree. <laughs> so let's talk about the trees real quick. I really love the wood slices because it tells you all kinds of history about the trees. If you look at a wood slice, it will tell you how long that tree's been alive. You count the rings. Every year a tree not only grows up, but it grows out. And so when that happens, it creates a new ring. And if you look at the rings, if there's a lot of spacing in between the rings, then that tells you that was a good growth year, grew a lot that year. If the rings are real narrow, it tells you that it was not a good year for that tree. Maybe there was a drought. So that will tell, it will tell you uh, a little bit of the story of the tree. Sometimes you'll see a little scar in there that might've been where a branch was growing out. But if you look right here, right underneath the bark, there is a layer here called the cambium. And the cambium um, is responsible for the growth of the tree. So it regenerates every year. And what it does is it creates the xylem and the phloem. And those are the tubes in a tree that allow the water and the nutrients to go up and down. So you have a magnifying glass, you can take a close look and you can see those little tubes. That makes this tree very strong along with the other things that grow around those tubes. It makes it really, really strong. The inside is called the hardwood. So as the tree grows, the inside starts to die and harden. And so that's where you get really um, strong part of the tree. So we're gonna take our knowledge of our science that we know our wood slice is gonna last for a long time and we're gonna create some art on it. And the thing that I find with people is that they say, oh, that I love that wood color. I wanna just put a little something in there. But then they paint the whole thing. <laughs> you don't wanna paint the whole thing. You want to leave a little bit of space. So um, I'll show you an example in a minute on uh, how we do that and how you can transfer your drawings without having to do your drawing directly on your wood. So the supplies you'll need for this project are, of course, your wood slice. And the way that I get my wood slices is um, I do maintenance on my yard every year and I'll cut big pieces of branches and I'll let them sit for a good six months. So you wanna do this um, when you're doing your regular yard maintenance. And then I used a bandsaw to slice these. You can also use a coping saw and when I say you, I don't mean you. I mean your adult helper. Because some of these supplies, like the hot glue gun and the um, cutting tools, those need to be done by an adult helper. So once you have your slices done, you're gonna notice that they have kind of like a ridge on them. So you'll also need sandpaper. The sandpaper will make it smooth. You'll need some brushes, some paint, a little container for your water, and then uh, your magnet, hot glue gun to put your magnet on, and I'm going to show you how to transfer a drawing to a wood slice just using pencil and paper. So you'll need a pencil and paper if you want to do that. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to take your wood slice and you are going to take a piece of uh, sandpaper. This is really a coarse sandpaper. So you probably would like a coarse sandpaper and a fine sandpaper. You're going to get the worst of it off with the coarse sandpaper and then you're going to come back with the fine sandpaper when it's really nice and smooth. And that's really just to give you a nice surface to work on. If you got a lot of ridges, sometimes it makes your paint go wonky. Um, so you wanna get it as smooth as you can. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paintbrush and you're gonna paint, let's see, I have my white. You're gonna paint only up to the, uh, you'll leave just like that little part where the bark is, maybe where the cab cambium is. And you're gonna come through, I always just kind of slide my paintbrush down and that'll give you a nice line uh, instead of having it like going all over the place. Make sure that you leave that wood slice because you want the natural wood to show. And then to actually do your drawing like a heart, if you have trouble um, doing drawings, you can also take things from a magazine and glue them on and do like a decoupage. But I'm gonna show you a, a pretty neat trick I know, which is if you're afraid to mess that up, because you don't want to be erasing a lot. You can do on another piece of paper, say you do a heart. What you want to do is keep going over that heart with the pencil over and over so you have a really dark line. And then what you're going to do is you'll put that upside down on your wood slice and you'll come to the other side and you'll trace over it. And as you trace over it, it transfers it. So it's kind of like a, a low-tech way to transfer a drawing. So you can do that on your wood slices. And I would stay away from doing anything too detailed 
um, if you're if you have trouble drawing I would do like the Minecraft was pretty easy to do because you can kind of do the squares ahead of time and then just paint in those squares but you're gonna need small paintbrushes um, another one that's just straight on but if you want to do detail you can get a very small paintbrush and I would do it do background first and then come back and do your detail this is not done it's just the drawing on there but those are the tips that I would tell you on this um, I would suggest you start with simple stuff and then start to add more detail. And one of the things when you're doing painting is you wanna do big things and small things. You see my big heart here, but then you see my small dots. So those are my suggestions for you. I, I would do these for people. Um, I find out what their favorite color is and what's one of the favorite things that they like. And then I create images that are based on what they tell me. And then lastly, you'll take your hot glue gun, you'll put a little glue on the back, and you'll put your magnet on. And now you're ready for your fridge. So I hope you enjoyed that project with Slice Magnets. These are fantastic gifts. Um, even just like a thank you, if somebody did something for you and you really wanna thank them, these are kind of really cool just to make. Uh, I would find out what their favorite color is or something they really like, kind of like the um, Minecraft. And they, then they're perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to be signing off. This is Miss Andrea. Bye.